Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Michael Parsons pick. Um, usually I make videos right away, but this year I kind of wanted to um, wait a little bit. Um, not not give a, um, a responsive video right away um, without, it, without thinking it through. Um, so last year I made a reaction video as soon as CeeDee Lamb got drafted, talked about it. Never really processed it because as soon as the pick happened for the Dallas Cowboys with Michael Parsons um, last night... Um, it was immediately, immediately a mixed reaction. Um, disappointment, excitement, and confusion. First came the um, the disappointment. Because the ideal um, player would be uh, J.C. Horn or Patrick Sertain. Obviously, we need a corner. That's our biggest need. Um, and they both got selected back-to-back -back right before our pick. The excitement was when we traded back right away. Um two spots and got an extra third round pick um, realizing that we could trade back and we did that. So good on Jerry Jones um, and Stefan Jones. And number two, the confusion of how does he fit in? We have LVE who we've invested a first round pick in and also I'm bringing out my hat. Um, it's training camp time here um, after the draft and OTAs. So how to bring out the summer cap, especially with summer right around the corner. Um, and then Jalen Smith, who we invested a $60 million extension to, who what is kicking in just this year. Um, and then obviously um, a guy like Keanu Neal, who's going to be playing weak side linebacker this year, who we just signed. And having Micah Parsons um, immediately makes our defense better. But it's like, how much rush is he going to get? Um, obviously with Sean Lee retiring, it helps, I guess, in a way um, that he'll take his snaps. But the big thing is, is um, he's going to get a lot of playing time regardless. Um, Dan Quinn runs a traditional 4-3, which is what we ran a lot um, before Mike Nolan. So it's simple. We're going to go back to old defensive style where it was LVE, Jalen Smith, and Sean Lee to begin with. Micah Parsons will quickly come in and um, be a guy that's going to just dominate, I think. I hope. I like Micah Parsons. I believe he's the best defensive player in the draft. Um, the character issues that they labeled, um, I don't think they're real. I don't think they'll be a problem. Um, I think another thing that hurt a stock was not playing this year because of the COVID or opting out, I should say. So I think my initial reaction was disappointment, then excitement, then a confusion. I slept on it, um, woke up this morning, th thought about it. Looked, looked at, you know, the roster, um, went on Reddit, got some Cowboys fans' opinions, went on the Insta uh, feed and the cat fan pages, got some ideas. Then I watched a couple um, NFL analysis um, reactions, and then I started doing my own thinking, um, especially with round two and round three starting in, let's see, in about three hours, round two will start. Well, rounds two and three will start. So pretty much day two of the draft will start in about three hours. Um, I think it starts at seven instead of eight uh, on day two. Um, but I think um, if we get a corner um, day two, our second or the third rounds, it definitely makes up for us going linebacker in the first. Um, could we have traded back farther? Yeah, and got like a guy like Newsom. But I am not the biggest fan of Newsom. I think he is a guy who will take two or three years to develop. Um, I'm glad the Browns did get him. He's kind of like what they thought they were getting at Greedy Williams, a guy that could take a year or two to develop, who may bring instant success. But my God, Parsons immediately makes our defense better. Um, scheme, fit or not. If Mike Nolan was still there and we plug in Micah Parsons, our defense is immediately good. If... We had a different defensive coordinator other than Dan Quinn. He immediately makes our defense better. Um, and there's not much analysis because we don't know other pieces. Um, if we're going to draft another linebacker or not, if we're going to sign one after the draft. Um, it all depends on injuries as well um, to our linebacking depth. So now we have Jalen Smith, Lane Van Der Esch, Micah Parsons, Luke Gifford, Keanu Neal, At linebacker. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. And this is as of round one. So don't go saying we have this player, that player now. I have no idea. Um, I'm making this 
before round two starts. So, and then if we sign someone after the draft as well, I I hope that Michael Parsons turns out to be worth the 12th overall pick. I'm just going to go on a rant here um, and just talk about him at this point, like I already have. Um, I, I even said before the draft, Michael Parsons is the best defensive player in the draft. If it wasn't for his quote-unquote character issues, he would have been a top five, top ten pick. I don't know what those character issues they're saying are. I don't think it'll affect the Dallas Cowboys, especially when you've had guys like Alden Smith, Greg Hardy, um, Pac-Man Jones that have been in there, Des Bryant, Terrell Owens, those guys that with character issues have been fine with Dallas and have relatively have had success. So I don't think it's a problem. Um, but other than that, there's not much to talk about. Um, after round two and round three, I'll make a video about a day later and then post it. And then day three draft. Um, so be in sections. And just like I did it last year, um, during the draft process or pre-draft process, I didn't make as many videos as I did last year. Last year, I made um, a mock draft for all 32 teams. I did a new mock draft every week. And then the week up to the draft, I did one every single day. This year, I did like three regular mock drafts and then a couple of Dallas Cowboys. Other than that, my pre-draft videos have been very, very lame. My post-draft going into the season, they're going to be very, very um, rapid. So this is Michael Parsons' reaction um, after the draft. Right after round two and three, I'll have a round two, three reaction. And then a, um, then a um, round four, five, six, and seven. And then after that, any um, undrafted free agents we sign. And then after that, I'm going to go into an individual player deep dive, talking about their highlights, talking about how they're going to fit. Um, pretty much what I'm doing with this individual player like Michael Parsons, I'm just talking about it, what's on my head. Um, and then once our team starts to get forming close to OTAs, I'll be bringing a lot of videos. So thank you guys for watching. Comment your thoughts down below. And I'll see you after round two and three.